Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, my students. In the roof surface for the English language, third secondary grade, first semester. Our lesson today is uh, for unit two about four meaning and function of mega goal five. Uh, pre prepared and presented by Nora Asufiani. So let's start our lesson today. What are the objectives of our lesson? We will learn today using the present perfect simple correctly. So we'll deal with uh, the present perfect simple tense. Then using for and since in sentences correctly. For and since with the present perfect simple tense correctly. And distinguishing between the using of past simple and the present perfect. When we use past simple and when we use the present perfect. And using time expressions with present perfect. What are the time expressions that go, uh, come with um, present perfect simple? What are the, they, sometimes they are clue to the present perfect simple. So here, let's start. So if we have a look to this picture here, we can see that we have two scenes. The first one is for the patient who is, or he was in the hospital, he's saying that, I've been in hospital for three weeks. The second scene is a different place. After okay, being um, hospital, he said that I was in hospital for six weeks. If we compare the two scenes here, we found that the first one he used the present perfect simple tense. I've been in hospital. The second one, I was in hospital, he used the past simple tense. I was in hospital. So, what do we you think? Okay, we use these two different tenses to talk about one situation being in hospital. He talked about uh, being in hospital because he still or he was still in the hospital. I've been in hospital for three weeks. I was in hospital and I am now in hospital and I may. Uh, stay in hospital okay uh, in the future so this is okay why he said that I have been in hospital for three weeks because here it's an indefinite time but here I was in hospital for six weeks he talks about a past action that finished started and finished in the past okay now he is in the cafe now what is the grammatical structure for the present perfect tense the present perfect tense, tense. The present perfect tense means has or have plus past participle. Has or have plus verb three. Past participle it means verb three. For example, uh, I have finished my homework. She has finished her homework. They have finished their homework. Uh, we have finished our homework. Uh, it has started. So here, we the using for has and have depends on the pronoun or the subject. The first. If we have a look to the timeline here, we found that here we have the past as usual, present, and future. The timeline for the present perfect takes all this area here. It means something happened or started in the past and we don't know when, in which time in the past. Sometimes here it takes uh, a place in the present and sometimes it continues to the future. So this is the use, usages for the present perfect simple. So what are the usages of the present perfect simple tense? To talk about actions that started at an indefinite time in the past. It's often used to talk about time from the past to now in a person's life. So here, the action here or the action started at an indefinite time, unknown time. We don't know when, okay? So this is all right about the first usage. So here, if we look at the sentence here, I have been to Paris this week. This week here is a clue or is a time expression. This week, I've been 
فهير we, we use have plus verb 3 have plus been to Paris this week it means that I don't know when exactly okay indefinite time it, but here if we make a comparison between uh, present perfect and past I was in Paris yesterday this is a definite time non time we know the exact time yesterday but using this week it means maybe yes maybe yesterday maybe some a monday maybe tuesday so it's something which is indefinite all right so here okay this is the first usages for the present perfect number two or the second usage is to talk about recently completed actions talk about recently completed actions for example Mohammed Abdel Latif Jamil has contributed greatly to the government Saudization program. So here we that we have that he has contributed, has contributed, has because it's a singular here, has contributed verb three. We use it because this action completed recently, recently and started in the past and completed recently bef before the present time. From the past till okay, the time before the, the before now. Okay. The third one is to emphasize an action that started in the past and has continued until now and may continue in the future. So this action started in the past, has continued until now, and may continue in the future. Past, now, future. Three tenses. This okay that emphasizes this action. And for example, the, the sentence here is, my friend has lived in Qatar all her life. My friend has lived, has lived, present perfect, in Qatar all, has li all uh, her life. All, it's also a key word for the present perfect. Uh, she lived in the past and now, okay, she uh, is living and in the future she will live. So something happened, okay. For this, all this time, from here, from the past, till now, present, and it may continue in the future. Let's see how do you understand what okay with I have said. Write complete sentences. Use the present perfect. Here we have four sentences. I want from you to write a complete sentences using the present perfect. Don't forget that grammatical structure is has or have plus verb three now let's start with the first one here we have my cousin the action is buying a house in Riyadh my cousin buy a house in Riyadh so how can we make a complete sentence with present perfect we can say that my cousin my cousin my okay in capital letter my cousin okay bye how can we use present perfect we have to use because here we have my cousin okay we can say has what is the verb three of buy bought a house in Riyadh number two Samir began to study economics at college so we start with Samir Okay, what is the grammatical structure of present perfect? It is has or have plus verb 3. So with Samir, we can say what? Has. Samir has. What's verb 3 of begin? Begun. So Samir has begun to study economics at college. Number 3. We go shopping in the mall. We go shopping in the mall. Okay, so we start with we in capital. Okay, we. Alright, so has or have we have we have go the action here go what's the past participle or verb three of go gone so we have gone shopping in the mall Fall stop my parents live in mecca for all their lives so we can say what my parents my capital letter okay so my parents okay so after that has or have absolutely have my parents have what's verb three of live lived so my parents uh, have lived in Mecca 
for all their lives. So here is something happened in the past, now and may continue in the future. All right, so these are the answers. These are the answers here. My cousin has bought a house in Riyadh. Samir has begun to study economics at college. We have gone shopping in the mall. My parents have lived in Mecca for all their lives. Is it clear? Okay, I hope that try to do it by yourself. Now let's move to the second part here. Time expressions with for and since. For and since, they are time expressions used with present perfect simple tense. But how can we use them? We have to use them correctly. We have to distinguish between them. We have to know when we use for and when we use since. First of all, for is used for the duration. The duration means, it means that how long has this action started, okay, or happened. For example, for two months, for a year, for a long time. If we see here, for plus two months, two months, but we don't know when. For a year, year, complete year, but we don't know which year. For a long time, okay? So here's a duration. For example, it has been in operation for 40 years. As you see here, it's a number, 40 years, duration. It has been in operation for 40 years. For example, I can say, I have taught English for 12 years, but you don't know when, in which year. You don't know the exact time. Now, since here, is the opposite it used for specific time beginning of the action not the duration for the action no the beginning the first start of the of the action since yesterday since 2015 since last june here specific time the beginning of the action it started from this point for example it has been in operation since 1975, since 1975, but here for 40 years, here the start, the, the point of starting, 1975, uh, for example, I have been, or sorry, I have taught English since uh, 1425, here I give you uh, the exact time or the beginning of the action, all right? So, for is used for the duration, since specific time or the beginning of the action. All right, now if I want to ask about the duration here or specific time for the present perfect, do you think I use when? Is it correct to say when? When has it been in operation? No, absolutely, it's wrong to use when for the present. Perfect. Be careful. Don't use when to ask about time. We have to use how long has the clothing store been in operation. How long instead of saying when. The common error or common mistake that is uh, you, um, done by people or students is using when to ask about the duration or specific or uh, specific time so we have to use how long how long has the clothing store been in operation all right now complete the sentences with four hour sense now the first one is Hamid has had the same TV 15 years so what do you think here we use for or since look at that word here 15 years do you think is is it a duration or a beginning of the action a, a specific time of course it's for for 15 years all right what about the second sentence i've had my laptop last june last june is it for or since since for last june or since last june last june do you think is something which is uh, specific time the start the point of start for the action yes so here we use since since last June 
We have worked on this project a month. A month, but we, know, we don't know which month. So is it four or since? Okay, it's four because it's a duration. Tark has worn glasses the age of seven. The age of seven, when he was seven years. So what do you think? Is it specific time, a beginning of the action, or is it a duration? Of course, it's a specific time. Here we use since. It's not, it's not a duration. So here, Tariq has worn glasses since the age of seven. Again, Hamid has had the same TV for 15 years. I've had my laptop since last June. We have worked on this project for a month. Tariq has worn glasses since the age of seven. What about if I want to ask about this, the duration here or the time here? What can I say? I can say what? How long has Hamid had the same TV? How long ha have I had my laptop? How long have we worked on this project? How long has Tari worn glasses? Okay? The last part of our lesson today is when we use past simple tense and present perfect tense. Past simple tense versus present perfect tense. The use for past simple is the exact time is given. If you remember at the beginning of our lesson, we said that uh, for the present perfect, it's, uh, we use it for indefinite time, indefinite, unknown time, but for the past, it's definite. The exact time is given but present an action that happened in the past when the exact time is not none or is not important. We don't care about the exact time. So here, when did, this, when did he start the company? He started the company in the late 17s. As you see, he started, he started the company in the late 17s. Because of that, because we use the past simple tense, we use what? When. When did. But here, have you ever met a billionaire? No, I've never met a billionaire. Here, have you ever met? Have you ever met a billionaire? No, I have never met a billionaire. So here, we don't care about the time. We don't care about the time. It's not important. So we use the pa uh, present perfect tense. If I want to ask about the question about the time, what I use, you think I use when? Absolutely not. We use how long, okay? Now, what are the time expressions that come with present perfect? We have since and for, also we have yet, so far, ever, never, already, recently, lately, once, twice, okay? If you, in the previous one, here we have, have you ever, have you ever, we use ever here to indicate the present perfect and it's used uh, in the question, all right? But, okay, we will use them in this uh, question. Make some notes in the chart below using the present perfect tense. Try to do it by yourself. Uh, people I have met. Write sentence using present perfect tense about people I have met. You start with a person and complete. I have met, I have met who? Places I have been, events I have attended. And try to use the time expression with them. Try to do it by yourself, please, okay? Now, let's see okay, the examples. People I have met. I have met Prince Khalid Al Faisal twice. I have met Prince Khalid Al Faisal twice. We use the present perfect. I have met. And we use the time expression twice. It's a clue and it's a keyword for the present perfect. Number two. I haven't met the new teacher yet. Yet here is used with the negative. Okay. I haven't met. Because here I use negative. Okay. I can use yet. All right. What about the places I have been? I have been to Jeddah since 2011. I have been in, to Jeddah since 2011. Since, okay, is a time expression used with present perfect. 
have never been to Japan. I've never been to Japan. This is the negative. Never, it means not. Okay, but it, it's used with the present perfect to indicate the negative. I've attended the class for 30 minutes. 30 minutes for, for 30 minutes duration. I've already attended this lecture. I've already attended this lecture. So here we use already. So try please to make your own sentences using the present perfect tense and the time expression. Okay, please try to do it by yourself, something which is easy. Okay, so this is the end of our lesson. Okay, and let's end up with uh, the what we learned today. We learned today the present perfect simple tense with since and for. For is for the duration. For example, it's been in operation for 40 years. Since specific time, it's been in operation since 1975. So for is for duration, since for the exact time or the, the beginning of uh, duration. Number two, questions with how long. How long has the clothing store been in operation? We use how long with the present perfect. We don't use when. Be careful. Don't ask by using when for the present perfect. And past simple versus per present perfect. For the past simple, the exact time is given. I was here uh, yesterday. And for the present perfect, an action that happened in the past when the exact time is not known or is not important. The, uh, the time is not important, so I use the present perfect. And we ended up with the expressions that we uh, use, it, use with uh, present perfect yet already never ever um, recently uh, twice once and whatever okay for reference you can okay go over these references and here for more information you can contact the website for Ian and the Twitter account and also you can call uh, this number Thank you very much. Um, thank you for your concerning and thank you for your paying attention. I hope to see you inshallah next time. Goodbye. Uh -huh.